Selling a condo in Canmore requires a little bit of preparation. Let's go over the items you'll want to have in order prior to listing. There is quite a list of condominium documents that a seller would be required to provide to the buyer. It is extensive and it's unlikely you have all of them on file. What we do for our clients is we will order them on your behalf and uh, we'll take care of the logistics of it to make sure that we have a complete package. We simply take the receipt and send it to your lawyers and they'll reimburse us from the proceeds of the sale. The cost of a full condominium package could be up to about $500. So that is something you'd want to watch for. The next item is important. We look to see if you have a conventional condominium or a bare land condominium. If you have a bare land condominium, you are required to provide a real property report, which is a land survey to the buyers. We will help assess if this is something that you are required to provide or not. Parking is an item that is of a lot of importance to buyers. So we wanna make sure we have all the information prepared prior to listing. We'll want to know how many parking stalls you have. Are they indoor or outdoors? What the numbers of the parking stalls are and are they titled or assigned? These, this is information you may or may not have. Together, we will do the sleuthing and we'll figure out everything we need to know to provide to the buyers. Access to the property is important for both when we have the listing as well as when we turn the keys over to the buyer. When it's listed, we'll wanna make sure we have access to your unit as well as any common space that is included, such as access to the building, or a clubhouse or an underground parking garage, storage areas, etc. I'm Jessica Stoner with the Jessica Stoner Real Estate Team. Thanks for watching.